You made it! With your shooting gallery complete, there's just one thing left to do. Publish your island and share it with the world. Publishing your island from the creator portal is easy. But before we get there, let's run a quick memory test. Because Fortnite is available to play on so many different platforms, the memory calculation test ensures that your project will run smoothly on all devices. In UEFN, open your project and launch a test session. For the memory test to work, you'll need to end your game and be in edit mode. Once there, go back to UEFN. Navigate to the project dropdown in UEFN and click Launch Memory Calculation. This uploads a private build and runs a memory test in your session. If it fails, you'll get a detailed log to help troubleshoot. If it passes, you can find your island in the Creator Portal project view. This might take a minute, so go grab a snack while UEFN runs the test. When it's done, you'll get a private version code. This lets you test your island in Fortnite and share it with members of your Creator team, a group of verified creators you can collaborate with through the Creator Portal. Your project is now ready to be published. To release it, open a browser and go to creatorportal.epicgames.com. Sign in using your Epic Games account, and if this is your first time in the Creator Portal, you'll have to enroll in the Island Creator and Engagement Program. Joining the program lets you publish islands and even receive money based on player engagement with your islands. Once in the program and all set up, head to the landing page for the Creator Portal, click Projects, find your first island project, then click it and head to the Private Versions tab. From there, you can finalize your settings and submit it for moderation review. Select Create Release next to the version you just generated. This opens the Game Details form. You'll enter a title, description, and tags to help players find your island. Epic uses this information during their review process. Next is the Ratings tab. Here, enter an email address to associate with your team's IARC certificate. Then, either use the same email or enter a separate one that all rating authorities can view. Then click Begin Questionnaire. This takes you to the official IARC form. You can't move forward until this is done, and your answers will determine the rating your island receives. The IARC rating helps ensure your island is age-appropriate for Fortnite and can be published across all supported regions. Just remember, IARC is a separate governing body from Epic Games. For everything you need to know about the IARC process, head to the documentation linked in this video's description. Once you've completed it, click Finish and you'll be redirected back to the Creator Portal. Now, head to the Promotional Media tab. Here you can upload thumbnails, a lobby background image, and even a trailer video. Want to see which thumbnail works best? Use A-B testing. You can upload two different images and see which gets a higher click-through rate with real player data. It's totally optional, but super helpful if you want to improve your island's engagement. If your island includes third-party assets, open the Attributions tab. This is where you give credit to the creators of those assets. If you followed this tutorial, you didn't use any third-party assets, so you can continue. Finally, you're on the Visibility tab. You can set your island to publish the moment it's approved, schedule it to publish at a certain time, or choose to publish it later. That last one is handy to make sure your island is approved before doing any marketing. Click Submit for Review and your island will go through Epic's content review process to make sure it follows all Fortnite standards. Once submitted, your release will appear in the Releases tab, showing key info like title, version code, submission date, review status, and a handy icon that updates as your release moves through review. When your island is published and players are checking it out, you'll get access to powerful analytics in the Creator Portal. You can track stats like click-through rate from the Discovery page, total plays, session length, and more. These insights help you understand what's working and what you can improve in future updates. Publishing is a huge milestone, but it's not the end. Once your island is live, the real journey begins. Gathering feedback, updating your content, and growing as a creator. There are a lot of resources to help you find success as a creator, like documentation on best thumbnail practices, marketing your island, and more. Be sure to leverage all the tools at your disposal to achieve success. Let's talk about what happens next in the final video.